With nine starters return on offense, six on defense for the Missouri Tigers, who will be here in Tempe, and a near safety for Wright, who has been running for his life all night long. Vontez Burfick was there, breathing down his neck, along with a host of other ASU defenders. A loss of nine yards, and the punting unit will come out. Schmidt will have to kick from his own end zone. Well, this was just a complete demolition of the Davis pocket. Look at, look at this meeting that they have in the backfield. Wright has absolutely no chance when you have guys like Will Sutton, Vontez Perfect, Junior Onyeli breathing down your neck. It's a tough, tough evening for your quarterback. He probably feels like he's back in Berkeley where the opener was last season. Rashad Ross. And a good kick by Schmidt. Backpedaling is Ross to the 41-yard line. Ross cuts upfield. And down he goes at the 43-yard line. 17-yard return for Rashad Ross. Well, he looks good. He is an electrifying player as a return man and I'm sure as a receiver as well this season for Osweiler in the offense. Another one of those junior college transfers that has come over this season. This is it, Arizona. Midnight tonight is your last chance for the first two prizes in St. Joseph's Health and Wealth Raffle. Enter right now at healthwealthraffle.org. Is it your turn to win big? Healthwealthraffle.org. And there is the true freshman, Mike Berkovici, beating out Taylor Kelly to the backup position to Brock Osweiler at QB. Hesitation move, and it was a gorgeous one by Kyle Middlebrooks. That first action of college ball for Mike Berkovici, who is an early graduate of half high school, so he could attend spring ball. Watch this little stutter step right here, that right there on their safety, Patrick Shelton. That was a pretty nifty move right there to just freeze Shelton and then have the suddenness in the quick burst to turn it back on and get outside. Very pretty run by Middlebrooks. Yeah, this time it is Morrison. Berkovici comes on, hands it off to Middlebrooks, and now to Morrison. A good start for Berkovici. Takes a, a little pressure off before his first pass. 6'2", 210 pounds. And Adam, I know you've seen him in practice. He has a cannon for an arm. He has a cannon, and he's very athletic, very mobile, very elusive. I love the fact that he, he graduated early from high school so that he could come here and get a jump on trying to learn this offense. And I think that is just an awesome quality about him that he's eager to learn, that he's been able to assimilate the offense in such a short amount of time, and now he finds himself number two in the depth chart. Well, hopefully we'll see that cannon arm. Three handoffs initially for Berkovici. That last one to R.J. Robinson, the sophomore walk-on from Westview High School in Avondale. Uh, you're right, Berkovici has been very impressive, and I know ASU was high on Taylor Kelly last year in practice. They red-shirted him, thinking that maybe he would be the backup this season. For Osweiler, flag down, ball is down, and it's dropped by R.J. Robinson. Offside, defense number 42. Five yards, replay, second down. That was Bobby Erskine, who was nailed for that, the defensive end. I really thought would be calling Erskine's name a lot more tonight, Tom. He's really been one of their best defensive players. Missed about five games last year because he had a staff infection, but this guy is a ball player. He has a tremendous motor. He hustles. He's a hard worker, and we just haven't had a chance to call his name because ASU's offense has been so dominant. One of the captains on the team. And leaping forward for a good gain, R.J. Robinson. He is a great story coming out of nowhere, according to Dennis Erickson, and earning some reps here in the open. The one thing that I'm noticing right now, it doesn't matter who's carrying the ball, all of ASU's back has a sudden burst. They really are explosive, and, and being a defensive player, when almost everybody who lines up in the backfield has that kind of speed, is really difficult to play against. Oh, you saw those total yards, pure domination by ASU. Oh, Robinson was headed for the end zone and was stopped at the two-yard line by Patrick Shelton. R.J. Robinson with the carries. Here in the second half, we could also see Marcus Washington come into the game. But well, Robinson is running like he really wants to prove something. Downhill, no stutter, no hesitation. He's going to come up there and drag Patrick, Patrick Shelton for a couple of extra yards. And I know you love to see walk-ons succeed on the college level. 
Robinson is necktied and thrown down for a loss. They'll mark it right around the five-yard line. Anthony Casper there with the physical tackle of R.J. Robinson. Now you were a walk-on coming out of Chandler High School and worked your way up the depth chart all the way to the Pac-10 Defensive Player of the Year. I'm sure an inspiration to uh, even many of the current Devils, the, the youngsters like uh, R.J. Robinson. Berkovici, he'll fire it incomplete to George Bell. It was thrown a tad behind Bell. That would have been a tough grab to make. Yeah, he threw it a little bit behind Bell, but I think that was the only place that he could have thrown the ball because the coverage really was pretty good. Bell not able to make that adjustment. Very, very difficult job to try and change your body position when the ball is coming in there so hot. And a glimpse of the arm strength of Berkovici. Here comes Alex Garut. Had a 49-yard field goal earlier tonight. He's been perfect on all of his point afters. And this one will be put down at the 11-yard line. So a 21-yard field goal attempt and a flag drops. You know, Dennis Erickson was Delay. talking about offense. Alex Still Groot. Down. And he said for Alex Groot, all he wants this year is for him to be consistent for anything spotted from the 30-yard line and in. Now, he's very comfortable from 45, 50 yards away. But for Dennis Erickson, just make the ones inside of 30. Well, those are so critical because you're down there in scoring position, and that's really the time when you need at least three points. Sometimes you can live with yourself if you don't make it when it's outside of that range. But when you work hard as an offense to get down there and you don't come away with any points, it's just a real momentum killer for your team. That was a 26-yarder for Alex Garut who remains perfect tonight in his debut as the Devils' place kicker. They have a whole new special teams when you look at the, uh, the place kicker in Garut, Josh Hubner, the punter, Cameron Castle, who is the long snapper, and Hubner, who is the holder.